on a project. Remember, everyone has different strengths. Use what you are good at to help you grow. Does anyone have any idea? Oh, I have so many ideas. What do you say, Arush? I don't understand. What are you saying? As Arush suggests, he is unable to understand the conversation between the teacher and the students. So Nima helps him to understand. Arush is very creative. He must have the idea. Share your idea, Arush. Share in your own way. Yeah, sure. I have an idea. Arush makes a drawing and shows others. Please have a look over it. Wow! It's such a unique idea! You are brilliant, Arush! Really, it's outstanding. I'm impressed to see how we support to each other, work together in the same way. We will meet in the next class. Thank you, ma'am! Let's see what is going on in English class. Miss Atri enters. God has blessed us with many things and persons. We should be grateful for like nature, healthy body and friends. Today we are going to discuss about the same. So describe the most important person of your life. May I? May I? May I? Yes, Ali. My mother is the most important person of my life. I feel unwell. She awakes beside me the whole night. She takes care of me and my family. She helps me in every task. She is the pillar of my family. Very good, Ali. Noor, do you want to share something? You can take the help of your friend Anaya. As Noor is mute, her friend Anaya helps her to express herself. The person without whom I can't imagine my life is my friend Anaya. I can't express myself, so she becomes my voice. She understands me better than others. Whenever I feel upset, she brings Smile on my face. She is my best friend. Very good, Noor. Thanks, Anaya, for giving your voice to Noor's expressions. We should be grateful to God for what we have. Let's pay our gratitude to God for the showers of blessings through a song. Children, the opportunity. 
opportunity to understand what it's like to face difficulties that others might experience. Each child takes one a role for a day, being blind, lame, deaf, dumb or injured in some way. They learn to care for others and experience life through a different lens. That's fascinating. Could you show me around? Certainly. Come with me. I am the villain of all. Through the garden, they see a young girl sitting on a bench with a blindfold over her eyes. She is holding a cane and another student is guiding her. Be careful. Let's have a round of a garden. The birds are chirping and the flowers are blooming. I will help you see the world from my eyes. What is she doing? Why is she blindfolded? That's Adya. Today she is experiencing what it's like to be blind. She cannot see anything and her partner is guiding her through the day. Tomorrow she will guide someone else. I have just come across the students who were deaf and dumb. You mean to say they are not actually disabled? Not actually. May I speak to this little girl? Of course. The visitor approaches Adya who is sitting on the bench. Good morning Adya. Good morning sir. My name is Mr. Alo. How are you feeling today? It's strange sir. At first, I was scared. Everything is tough and I have to trust others completely. But I am learning to rely on my other senses. I have even noticed things I would not have before like the sound of the birds and the scent of flowers. That's wonderful. Do you find it difficult? Yes, sometimes it's frustrating. I miss being able to see my friends' faces. But it's also teaching me how much blind people must depend on others and how careful we need to be. Very impressive. This is the best way to inculcate the moral values among the children. Goodbye little girl. Goodbye sir. Miss Bakshi and the visitor continue walking. They see a boy limping with the help of crutches. He is being helped by another student. And that boy, what is his role today? That's Manan. Today, he is playing the role of someone who is lame. He is learning how difficult it can be to move around without injured legs. Good morning, young man. Good morning, sir. How is your day going? It's tough. Every step is hard and I have to plan my movements carefully. But it's also making me appreciate how lucky I am to be healthy on other days. I am grateful for the help I get from my friends. You seem to be handling it very well. Thank you, sir. It's tiring. But I am learning a lot about patience. I never realized how much effort it takes just to get through a normal day. Yes, it needs much effort, but you are doing it very nicely. Great job, young man. This Bakshi and the visitor return to the main building. The visitor seems deeply moved. Thank you, boy. You are teaching these children lessons that can be found in any textbook. They are learning empathy, kindness and understanding in a way that will stay them with them for life. That's exactly the goal. Every child here is learning not just about themselves but about the world around them and the importance of helping others. Moreover, they learn to be passionate, optimistic and full of life. Would you like to see the enthusiasm and zeal of my students? Yeah, sure, I would like to. But where? Come with me. The students are in the auditorium now. I am sure you would be pleased to see their energy. And so, the visitor lived towards the auditorium.